It came through and uh, I was like, who else has seen something like this? Well, I'm going to read it out for you real quick. It says, Dear Monique, I was listening to your Dear Monique last week and looks like someone has the opposite of my problem. My ex is a summer bunny. He has been in town for two weeks, but it feels like a year already. He's a total bore fest. He's absolutely boring. Okay. And uh, even being in America for the last five years hasn't improved his dress sense or sense of humor. I wouldn't voluntarily hang out with him if he was the last man on earth. But here's the complication, Monique. He's loaded and he has promised to invest in my boutique. Mm. I believe in my business and uh, he does too. I just need advice on how I can make sure not to give him any ideas that is anything other than a business arrangement. Her name is Jane. Jane, you're a bad girl, bad, bad girl. And for you to say that out like that, um, I think this is something you would do to someone who wasn't even a summer bunny. Um, the fact that this guy is not permanently based here looks like you're the type of woman to take maximum advantage, to use people, and to get your own. Is this uh, something I've heard before? Yes, I have. But for you to send it out, you sound very proud about your conquest. You sound very proud about your project here. And good luck with your boutique. But um, I don't know. I'm just not that kind of girl to, to tell you, okay, so here's how you're going to go about it. I don't know how to go about it. But I think that I hope you get caught. <laughs> I hope you get caught. And I hope he knows that you're not interested in him. You know, some of these people are have been working throughout the entire year just to, you know, to come here thinking he's found something. I don't know. Good evening. How are you? I'm very fine indeed. How are you? I am great, Kelvin. Great to have you on the Spice Drive. Talk to me. Well, uh, this is quite funny and tricky, yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really just interested in the money. So they yes. should be business partners as opposed to being mm. uh, whatever, whatever they would be. Yes. I just need to be partner because even from from the conversation, yes. from um, mm. I can just get that she wants uh she wants him to invest in the business. Yes. So why not make him a business partner? 